All right, so on to season two, which is, I call it season two. It's technically still part of season one, but it's season two. Um, so, cold open to um, Kirito and Asuna being back in Sword Art Online. Enjoying their house, rocking away on a, a a twin bench. He's reading and she's drifting off to sleep. And uh, it pans to inside their house where there's a basket of apples. And the apple falls and it shatters. And then Asuna shatters, and parts of the world start shattering. His whole his whole world is is breaking around him. And he wakes up. He's having a nightmare. So, it's been about two months. And, just like I've been saying since the beginning, Kirito just does whatever he wants. Just because he can. So, he's apparently almost fully healed in two months. From two and a half years of being atrophied, emaciated, this, that, and other. So he, he's, um, he goes outside. His sister, his little sister, Sugu, her, well, Sugaha, but she goes by Sugu. She's practicing kendo, which we established earlier that, um, she kept it up just so that her their grandfather would stop beating him. And she's lost in her own world, thinking about, you know, all the times that she was there trying to, you know, rectify any kind of feelings she had for her brother there at the hospital. And I don't know. So she's just focused on thinking about that. But it, anybody knows any kind of martial art, the whole process is down to what they call a kata, which is a form, which means you do a certain thing a certain way every time, no matter what. That way, if you have to do it under whatever circumstance, you don't have to think about it. It's a reaction. It's natural. And one of the things that they tell you if you're doing... Uh, kendo is practice your forward sword strike do that as a first practice every time you get to where you can do that before the other person can move guess what you win uh but it, either way so she's doing that kirito's sitting there watching her and he's like wow you've got you've really kept it up all these years and he startles her and she's like well uh yeah you know i wasn't really putting any effort into it as so he's like you want to have a go and she's like what after after all this time you think that you could hold a candle to me and he's like i've had a little bit of practice but you know what we might as well put on the armor and the full everything and spar in the dojo and she makes fun of his uh fighting stance because he does his you know normal kendo you hold you hold this the sword out in front of you uh, but you know, he's got his crazy stance and all right. So he actually contends with her for a little bit until he pisses her off by dodging everything. And so she, she calls a hit to his head and he's like, wow, you're actually kind of good. And then he's muttering to himself. He's like, oh, I, I realize how much I used to rely on the, the sword skills. I guess I need to practice a little bit more doing the real thing. And um, so then she's like, well, what are you going to do today? He's like, well, I, I'm going to go to the hospital. And then they explain that there are about 300 people that didn't never wake up from the Sword Art Online game. And Asuna was one of them. Um, nobody really knows why. Um, but... The hospital isn't too terribly far from where he lives. So he visits uh, periodically. 
So he goes there and he's looking at her. And I will say they do a disservice to him. They made him look like a skeleton. They took off his helmet. He had long hair. Asuna just looks like Asuna. You tell me they're giving her better nutrients? Whatever. So he's he's there. He's holding her hand, you know, just reminiscing. And then um, her dad comes in. He's like, oh, uh, Kazuto, you're here again. Well, you know, I'm, I'm glad that you're still showing such faith in our girl. And then another guy walks in and he, he's like talking business. And he's like, you know, actually, I would like to make it official. Uh, I would like her to wear the dress. And that was like, Kirito's like, uh, what? And then it, it go back and forth a little bit. Um, her dad and this guy. Uh, Sugo and uh, he's like yeah no I you know I think we need to go ahead and do it just because I I really want her I really want this to happen while she's still pretty now I don't know if he's insinuate I hope that he's insinuating before she starts wasting away in the bed I hope that's what he meant because the way that I've read it or thought that he meant it every single time was, I really, I don't want her to be like 18 when I marry her. That'd be crazy. And he's clearly older than her, I think. He seems older than her. He's like got a job with a tech company. So he can't be 17. I wouldn't think. So... He's like, all right, well, uh, his, her dad's like, I got some, um, some business I need to take care of. So, you know, you, you two don't stay too long. And so he leaves. And then Sugo comes over to Kirito and he's like, yeah, so I heard that you had quite the uh, life together in that world. But, you know, Not everybody gets what they want. And he walks over and he starts playing with her hair and smelling it. This, it gets kind of dark in different ways. Like, I mean, episode one of episode one is like, oh, just blood coming down and announcing that if you die, you die. In this one, we got a, a sex offender. Uh, over here smelling a 17-year-old's hair while she's in a coma. And he's, like, touching her face, and he starts playing with lips. Kirito's had enough. He grabs him, and he's like, you leave her the fuck alone. He's like, well, you know, in one week, she'll be married to me. So you know what? You can, um, you can go F off. Because the reason that I get to marry her is I am in this part of this company which subsidized the company that went under that made uh, Sword Art Online. So in a way, you could say that my participation in keeping the whole thing around is keeping her alive. That's plenty leeway for me to marry her. So, uh, get lost. And I don't ever want to see you again. So that devastates him. And he goes home. And he's, he, he does, like, Sugu's like, brother, it's time to take a bath. And she's like, is he even home? And she knocks on his door. He doesn't answer. He, she goes in. He's just sitting there. And she's like, what's wrong? I, I could tell something's wrong. And he just breaks down. He's like, she's going to a place where I can never reach her. And I, and she's like, well, don't give up hope. And then he, he just sits there until he falls asleep. And she lays down with him. It's like, it's not fair. You know, I always looked up to my brother as my brother. But when I found out he wasn't my brother, I, I realized those feelings were different. And just like he feels that 
his love is in a place that will never be. I know mine isn't because his heart belongs to her. So she falls asleep, gets embarrassed whenever he wakes up before her. And she runs out. And that's when Kirito gets a message. Now, granted, keep in mind, the guy said that he's only got seven days until that, the two of them are married. So he's like, yeah, I got to figure out something, anything. And he gets a message from Agle that um, he's like, you need to see this. And it's a picture from a new VR game. And it's kind of distorted because it was taken from far away and it was like zoomed in a bunch. So it was distorted. But it's clearly Asuna behind some like bars and he's like what so that's where this one leaves off and uh, i guess we're gonna figure out where asuna is and why she's behind bars uh yeah this one i don't know we'll, i'll get to it as we get to it I don't want to just go ahead and say this series, this season is X Factor. Because it's not. There's just a couple of scenes. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. Bye.